in my neighborhood, we want to make sure that every veteran has a wreath on their grave. And my next guests are working to make sure that that happens. Dear friend of mine, he is family to me, Jim Lehrer, co-owner of Brownsboro Hardware and Paint. Do I say well, that? Well, you don't say co-owner anymore, just uh, representative from Brownsboro Hardware and Paint. I mean, because <laughs> how long has that been? That, how well, my wife and I owned it for 23 years, that, and yeah. we and we just passed it on to our manager, Doug Carroll, and we're excited about that. Just and 11 it's days funny. ago, I was like, Doug, wait a minute, Doug, who has just? I always see him in the store too. Yep. But local is important. Local to you. is important, absolutely. And if you know that when you go into somewhere or local, it feels different. That's why it's important uh, to Jim and now to Doug. Yeah. I'm excited yes. for you. No, it's it's a great transition and we're on to the next chapter. Yeah, and he says next chapter, he's not stopped working. <laughs> That's why he's here today. Susan Calmy is with him, Daughters of the American Revolution Corn Island chapter. Susan, how important is this? I can't imagine that you all will even allow for a veteran not to have a wreath on their grave during the holiday season because we're going to get this done. Yes. Um like, I, like you said, our goal this year is 4,000 wreaths. Yes. But there are over 11,000 oh. veterans and their spouses buried in that cemetery. And I know, and you know, that the residents and the businesses of Louisville yes. can help us cover we can each one of those. Done. That's so, right. you know for sure you want 4,000? Oh, yes. But should we, should we be reaching for 11,000? We definitely oh, should be, absolutely. and if we don't reach okay, it this year. Okay, so I'm year. changing that number. You <laughs> didn't even hear that 4,000 number. The number is 11,000. Now, this is not that hard because each wreath is fifteen dollars. That's correct. Right. That's correct. Is this the wreath it's, here? It's very similar to this. It's okay. about the size and shape mm -hmm. with the with the but bow it's a on nice, it. It's a nice live balsam wreath from yeah. Maine. Oh, it's a live yeah. balsam yes, wreath. Yes, they're beautiful when they arrive. Um, and we have until November thirtieth to sponsor our wreaths, and then that company, that family company in Maine. Um, because they, are, they have they, to put them together, so yes. we have to be fair to them. Right. They arrange it and they have truck drivers from all over the country volunteer their time to volunteer. bring them here. That's right. Wow. Okay, cross that 4,000, we put 11,000 <laughs> now. Uh, but with the help of Brownsboro Hardware and Paint, uh, they too are helping. Why important to you, Jim? I know the cemetery right down the street from where your uh, location is at the Brownsboro uh, what's shopping, center. shopping mm -hmm. center there and uh, I know important to you all but s speak to why we need to jump behind this. Well and all the veterans what they've done and their families have done and and the sacrifices they've made ultimate sacrifice many of them uh, it's the least we can do to show our thanks uh, we wanted to get behind this uh, we pledged that we'd uh, match the first hundred rees and we've kind of blown through that already. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so we're we're north of a thousand rees at this point. And in fact, the folks from Zachary Taylor Post 180 stopped by an hour before I came here and <laughs> dropped off a check uh, for fifteen hundred dollars. <gasps> Say so, their name again, please. So that's the Zachary Taylor Post 180. Uh, those Thank great you. people uh, raised that money, and they're going to work harder to Thank get you. more. So there's a hundred rees right there. And again, like you said, it's just fifteen dollars. Folks can come to Brownsboro Hardware, either store and just drop off $15 and that gets a wreath, or they can go to our website, brownsborohardware.com, and that'll connect to, to Susan's site and uh, you can do it online. Mm -hmm. Because we've all learned during this pandemic, we can do everything online, absolutely right. everything yeah. uh, online, even r registering with you when I want to do Big Green Egg classes That's or right. something. I just, <laughs> I just pop online, I get it taken care of at Brownsboro. Uh, this is something that we can do, and it could be a church group or a group of, of sisters or as in brothers and sisters, or it could be anybody getting together to come in and say, here's our part, these are the wreaths that we want to That's do. Right. That's right. That's uh, right. When you go on the website from brownswearhardware.com, it's secure. Um, you can donate as many wreaths as you like. 
uh, and we encourage you to come out and help us place those wreaths. You need the volunteers. The ceremony is open to anyone. We have all kinds of groups, church groups, military groups, organizations, clubs, families come out with their children which is so important too, to teach them. You can't teach a better lesson. Right. No, you can't. We need to teach our children to honor these veterans and their families. It's very important. Well, I, I know in my family, we have. I'm, I'm like the only one that's not military. Uh, so we know how important that is. If you want to volunteer, how do we let you know that? You can go to the same place. Okay. Um, either call the hardware store or go to brownsboroughardware.com Go ahead and push that donate button. It's going to take you to a screen where you have a choice to donate or volunteer. Okay, so it could be time mm -hmm. or money. That's right. right. You're still donating, but which right. do you, or both? Hey, maybe you want to do both time uh, and money. Exactly. I know that you all are, are working really hard with this too. Jim, anything else we need to know about this initiative and, and just the importance of it all? No, just get to, let's get to that 11,000 reads. Yeah. That would be so neat. Um, we came up short last year, but I think with the momentum we've got going right now and people get involved with the community, uh, it's just such a great community. Uh, we know folks can reach out and, and, and just put $15 in and, and get a wreath for those important veterans. There you go, a wreath. And if your company can help, your church can help, your family can help, yes. and they need volunteers, I appreciate yeah. you. I appreciate you. you both very much. Again, brownsboroughhardware.com, uh, wreathsacrossamerica.org. Volunteer your time, your money, or both.